back on the road. All right, I am headed. Just leaving Eric's. If you guys haven't, check that one out. Um, dude, tough, tough fishing with him. But, you know, my tarpon, I'm feeling better about my tarpon fishing. Um, just stopped at Wawa. If you're in Florida, stop by Wawa. Definitely one of my favorite places. I know they're a, they're a mid-coast thing. And they just happen to make it into Florida. But anyways, I am headed, I'm headed up to Georgia. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy, Austin Young. And we're gonna do some fishing in Georgia. Uh, he and I have never fished where we're gonna be. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, do some exploring, do some camping, do some fishing. Just gotta drive some more. ahead of me according to Google and right now that flood tide's at like a quarter to five and I'm not gonna get there till 530 oh, man. I'm hoping that we, there might be a flat that, that's close enough to the boat ramp that we can sneak on before the water drops too much and we can't be up there be up on top of the grass That's how it goes, man. That's how this this road trip. <laughs> that's how this road trip has been going. Just get this close to being perfect, and something comes up. What are you gonna do? So, I got my my nav system's been saying I got an hour and 53 minutes to go for like the last 30 minutes, and I'm just watching the ETA time rise and rise and rise. I still got hope. Saying I got 52 miles to go, and it's gonna take me two hours to get to go. It's saying it's gonna take me two hours to go 52 miles. I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing 70 right now. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm on the water. I found an ace. We uh, we wanted to get out. You can see the water is up pretty high, um, so we wanted to get out and do some scouting tonight. If we see something good, we'll stop and try and get a redfish. But uh, it's this weird place where it's not quite high enough where it's in the like the really tall grass. But uh, it's high enough that like there's still like one like there's still like, there's like two feet on it right now, so like you can't really see anything. Um, neither one of us have ever fished here, so we're kind of just I don't know. Right now, like I said, we're just scouting, see what happens, see what we can find. It's pretty cool though. I've never fished 
here. I feel like I should have something else. Dude, I, I woke up yesterday and I have just felt like giant head cold. I almost called Ace to be like, dude, I gotta go lay down somewhere for a few days. And I was like, nah, nah. It, Ace had already texted me that he had everything set up. I was like, all right, we're just gonna go. We're gonna do this. But now we're gonna keep scouting, see if we can find something with a, with a redfish on it. No, that would be the smart thing to do, but... Well, we get, uh, we're off the water. We we have some good ideas for tomorrow, but in the morning we've got a high tide at like 5 a.m. So we're gonna wait. Um, we're gonna let the tide drop out a little bit before we get on the water. Have a nice relaxing start. It's one of the things that I like about this area, South Carolina, Georgia, is uh, you know mid tide. Go get lunch. If you don't know what's going on at high tide go get breakfast. Don't feel like you gotta rush onto the water. Um, but yeah, anyways, we got camp set up. We're the only ones in the campground, which means we can't do anything bad because they know they're gonna know it's us. But we got Ace getting the fire going. And so you just got a couple hammocks set up, super easy. So this road trip started staying at a lodge and it's ending with sleeping in a hammock. So honestly, I'm pretty good with both. You okay? I'm all, I'm all right. I'm worried about you. I, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, morning guys. All right, first of all, if you can't hear it in my voice, I'm like about one step away from being too sick to want to even be on a boat. Luckily for Ace, I like hanging out with him. Um, but we uh, camped last night. We had some midnight visitors. We had some raccoons trying to climb in the hammocks with us, which is pretty exciting. Got up this morning, went, got some uh, breakfast at this little deli called the Yellow Deli, which uh, I'll be honest, it was kind of weird. It was, it was weird. It was really weird. But it worked out and the food was actually really good. So uh, if you're in Brunswick, just know that, you know, go check it out, but know that you're gonna think it's kind of weird. <laughs> like I said, I'm fucking dying today. Oh, I shouldn't cuss. <laughs> oh my God. Like I said, I'm, I'm getting sick. Um, yeah, we got no wind. Tide's dropping on us right now. We got a couple of spots we scouted last night. We're gonna go see how they look at low tide. Um, and uh, I don't know, we got, we got the boat in the water. We just, we gotta go, let's go, let's do it. All right, we're up in a creek. We, uh, man, we haven't found uh, the redfish that we're looking for, obviously, because- We saw one. We saw one that was like the chillest redfish ever. So we didn't think it was a redfish until we passed it. We're like, oh, that was definitely a redfish. Thought another gar was just swimming by. Tons of gar. But we're gonna, we're gonna move a little bit 
we got some weather building over us typical of this trip so far um, if you guys have watched anything that I did in Florida it was like rain central and uh, we're gonna check one creek out while we still got low water and if that doesn't work out we'll probably go find some lunch in town and I don't know find a fly shop and see what they have to tell us about what we're doing wrong name of the game we gotta run you ready? Yes, sir. As you can see, we are in a truck, not on a flat. It's raining, which is not really surprising for me. Um, and if you've been watching like the last four videos I've put out, it's probably not surprising for you either. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out the fly shop here in Brunswick and then uh, find a bite to eat. Hopefully let this rain all pass and maybe we'll get some tips or or uh, maybe we'll be able to find some high tide tailing reds. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Dodging rain and not catching fish. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'm changing it from skiff wanderer to storm storm chasers. <laughs> skiff storm chasers. I, I'll work it. It's a working. We're, we're, I'm working on it. Might stop fishing. Might sell my skiff. Be just the wanderer. Just make this a travel vlog. We uh, oh, there's a wood stort. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, we tried like what four different spots this on this flood, and haven't seen a single fish. No signs of fish. No anything. Well, just basically everything we were looking for, we we didn't see. Um, and. Like from my experiences in Charleston and I know from Aces, like <laughs> this all looks fishy as I'll get out. One of the things we learned at the fly shop is that uh, here in Georgia, the redfish limit is 14 to 23 inches for keepers and you're allowed five. And if you go out with a guide, you can keep the, you can keep the guide's fish as well. Um, I'll let you guys figure the math out on that, but to me, that does not sound like a very sustainable way of maintaining a fishery. I definitely, we're gonna get out in the morning and we're gonna try the, the, the low tide again and see if we can find a fish. Um, but I, mean, I definitely wanna come back here. It's pretty as all get out. We might try someplace different in Georgia. Not this place. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a run back to the house and uh, or I guess the campsite, make some dinner, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Uh, fishing trips. So um, probably gonna sell my skiff, all my rods, and quit fishing. <laughs> Can't even catch bass. Um, so we this morning we were we were planning on, you know, fishing this low tide here, and it is pouring rain. There's a there's another storm building behind it. So and then my head is killing me right now. Um, so I think we're gonna have to call this one. There's no redfish in Georgia. That's what I'm gonna call this. Yeah, there's, no redfish. There's no redfish in Georgia. Don't fish, Georgia. Honestly, um, this park, like, I, I don't want to really, like, blow up spots. 
But we haven't caught any fish, so I don't feel terrible. Yeah, we're not blowing up a spot. <laughs> it's a cool area to be at, but this this park we're at, Blythe Island, it, it's a if you got if you got like kids and you're just looking for a place to go camp, like there's a boat ramp here, there's a lake you can go swimming in, the lake's full of bass that don't eat when there's a thunderstorm apparently. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's a pretty cool little spot to, to check out. Um, Ace, man, I really appreciate you Absolutely, man. meeting up with me. No, I appreciate you, man. I'm glad we were able to do it. Yeah. It's been a, been a year almost. <laughs> yeah. We'll get together soon and actually catch fish. Might talk you into coming to Louisiana for a few days. I'm down, man. I, I don't know can you, if you can handle a 30 plus inch redfish. No, that's uh, it's too big for me. So. Well, I know where some little ones are. All right. I'll find those. All right, guys, hit like and subscribe, uh, so I can go on more <laughs> fishing trips. <laughs> it's really hard to ask Keep that right me now. Fishing. Oh <coughs> uh, yeah. See ya. Fishing, man. Sometimes it's just about seeing a beautiful sunset and enjoying the company of friends. <laughs> Said every bad fisherman ever. Oh my goodness. What are you gonna do?